Kom on, Sam. Sorry, All right, Michelle. Who's going to start? Frankie, you going to take Tyson, to your right. Uh, congratulations on a great performance. First of all, how did you get off the canvas there in the 12th round? I mean, that was a really violent knockdown. I, I thought for sure you were out. Can you talk us through that? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody to turn up for the press conference and I hope everybody enjoyed the fight as much as I did. Um, how did I get up from the knockdowns? I don't know. I had a, uh, a holy hand upon me tonight and brought me sure. back. And I got a good fighting spirit and, you know, I never say die. I get back up and, you know, even in the 12th round when I got knocked down heavy, I got back up and probably won the round. Fought back and wobbled him a little bit as well. So, listen, I'm not going to take anything from Deontay Wilder, the bronze bomber, the unbeaten WBC champion of the world. Great fighter, great, great venue, great team around him. Listen, we can only do our best in that ring. And no matter what anybody says or what anybody don't say, Deontay Wilder is a hell of a champion. He showed great art tonight, and not the easiest man in the world to it, as you can see, but he persevered and kept coming all night. Just want to say thank you to Deontay Wilder and his team. Thank you to America, Showtime, BT Sport, Frank Warren. It was a great fight, and uh, it was a pleasure. But listen, it was what it was. Um, I enjoyed every second of it. I'm not going to sit here and uh, complain all night, scream robbery, this, that, and the other. I thought I won the fight. Um, I'll leave the audience to decide what they thought. But listen, two men tried their hardest tonight, tried our guts out. We trained for 10 weeks, away from our families, put the sacrifices in. We both came in in great shape, very fit, and it showed. I hope everybody enjoyed it as much as we did, and I'm sure we're going to put a great show on it in the second fight. Tyson, Tyson, Tyson I'll do be you back. think in a second fight, uh, again nice. to your right, do you think in a second fight, given now you had a big fight at the high level like this, that you would perform at an even higher level than you did tonight? You know, you never can tell, but one thing I do know is there wasn't many people who thought I could come here and box like that after the two and a half year out the ring, and it's not been any secret what I've been doing out the ring. I've been living like a rock star. Um, but that ain't a great thing, by the way, because I've had a very low time doing it. And I fought back from suicide and mental health and depression and anxiety, and I wanted more than anything tonight to show the world that it can be done. Anything is possible with the right mindset. If you believe in yourself and you sacrifice and dedicate with the right help, you can come back. Because when I sit here and say, I was on the brink of suicide, I mean suicide. And I came back with the help of Ben Davison and a great That's team around me. We were able to achieve what we achieved tonight. Tyson. Tyson. Can, can you take us through the 10 seconds of that last knockdown? I, I, we saw you get up, like it was amazing what you did in the final two seconds, but for those first five seconds, you look completely out. Can you take us through those 10 seconds? And did you go from completely knocked out to waking up? What happened? Did Jesus Christ come down and wake you up? What happened? I think so, yeah. I think I had the only hands upon me tonight and I was brought back. Rose me to my feet on the brink of defeat. And the lyrics I stole from a tune. But um, I can't tell you because I don't know. I don't know what happened. I got back up, I was slipping and sliding, obviously couldn't land on me. And then I counted him, bang, with a good couple of shots back. I probably, uh, probably we should have, that should, round should have been probably a draw in the, in the last round. But listen, it was what it was. It was a great fight. I ain't going to complain and call Wilder a million names because he's a great champion. And that's what champions do. Listen, I'm the lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He ain't just going to lay down because I got punched in the face and knocked down. We get back up and fight. I'm not the lineal champion for nothing. And this is the first time. Every time a lineal heavyweight champion has come back from years out of the ring, he's been destroyed. So I set a precedent tonight. I think I'm the first one to come back and do well. But it was a great experience. I just want to say BT Sport and Showtime and everybody who was involved in this fight done a fantastic job promoting it. And everybody who turned up, it was a great night, a great experience in my journey in life. Thank you to everyone who turned up. God bless you. Hey, hey good, Tyson. Congratulations to you on your, on your effort and your performance tonight. But what I hear from you, it sounds like you're happy with the draw. Is that accurate? Where's the question coming from? Right here, right here. It, it, what, um, I mean, it sounds like you're happy with the draw. Is that accurate? I'll answer that one. I think that everybody should be thankful to Tyson for being so professional under his conduct, conduct when we all know sitting in this room who won that fight, but he also could have caused a riot 
if he kicked off about that scorecard. Do you know what it was? That. I was telling my brothers so, and my family to keep quiet. There was about 8,000 travellers and, and Brits who come from around the world. 10,000. They probably would have smashed this arena up if I'd have instigated it. I mean to the floor. So really, but, he's owed a thank you for keeping that being professional and doing it under that conduct. I just wanted to be an ambassador for my country and my people. Tyson, I can respect that. I like that. Here, that Tyson, makes sense now. First of all, I want to commend you for... This was a bad decision. ...mental struggle that brought you to this place tonight. 